Oh, this is a treat for me, and it'll be a treat for you. A new segment, I'll Drink to That, with true independent free agent, patriot, veteran, my good friend, P.J. Rykoff, veterans advocate, host of the Independent Americans podcast. It's good to see you, brother, as you always. Too, good to be Thank here. you for being my friend in good times and bad. Uh, and helping me shape this show to make it something good for everybody. You came bearing gifts, my favorite tequila. I've had the plug in the jug. I will take it out because it is time to celebrate. I'll drink to that are three things that you believe are worth celebrating if they happen. Some may happen, some may not. So we got to talk about them. Let's do it. Sound being, right? Being here with you alone is reason to celebrate. Oh. I'm glad I'm finally here. Happy Friday to you. Happy Friday to everybody else. I'm ready to get after it, man. So go ahead. What do you got? Uh, well, it looks like not we're that I'm not paying attention. Well, I am. Uh, it looks like we're starting off with vets protesting outside the Capitol with Afghans. Mm -hmm. And now, tell people why this is important. And you only have like today for them to get this done, right? Yeah. So, I mean, bottom line week? is that I worked in the veterans community for a long time, and I've never seen an issue that's more important to more people from more political backgrounds. Yeah. Right now, as we have this conversation and we enjoy this fine cocktail. Men and women are protesting outside the Capitol, and what they're trying to do is ensure that our Afghan allies, the folks in Afghanistan who stood up with us for 20 years of war, aren't left behind to die. There's a piece of legislation that's pending right now that the Senate can make happen tomorrow, can make happen on Monday, and it's stalled. It's got 54 co-sponsors. Both parties are behind it. Every major veterans organization is behind it, and right now it's stalled. And these guys have been protesting outside there since August. They What's went all around the country. Politics, man. I mean, I, I wish I could tell you what it is, but that's a great question if you can get Mitch McConnell on your show, if you can get Chuck Schumer on your show. Is it an immigration thing? Like, oh, this would let them all come here? I think, with the, I think there's some scaremongering going on, but this is about our national security. If you don't take care of the people who stand up with us on the battlefield, next time we go to war, people won't stand up with us. So we got to stay on it. They have, is there a deadline or no? Well, the Congress is about to go home. I mean, this is it. So this you think is, if they don't get it done in session, that's it? If they don't session, get it done, it. basically, on Monday or in the day after, then this won't happen until next year. I think it's important for people to know, every day that we wait, more people in Afghanistan are being hunted and killed by the Taliban. So, just for helping us. Just for helping us. I mean, they've been with us in a bar fight for 20 years. We walked out of the bar and left them behind to die. What's the name of the act? It's the Afghan Adjustment Act. You can find it on every social media, the AAA. And this is to our friends on the Hill right now, and I think left behind in Afghanistan, too. To them? Yeah. Mm. My favorite. Costa this is good. With all, like, let's be honest. I, this is your stuff. I know. I, I couldn't trust you. Uh, this you is, this is much here, better than I. You would have come in here with like night train. I can't afford like this. That. My kids outside in the studio drinking this chocolate milk. Should have like, been here. Yeah. Can't have it. Can't have it around this. Not yet. Not yet. Not all right. Yet. What's Not number yet. two? Uh, looks like number two is. Uh, you tell me here, man. Could be whatever you Are want. We talking about Patriot missiles? Yes, sir. So, What's happening in Ukraine now? There's a good chance that President Zelensky, who I was shocked. A little bit of a commentary on how uh, we're not respecting that situation the way you used to. The guy's time man of the year. Right. And I haven't seen him on American media much about, you know, I saw him with David Letterman, but I haven't seen him doing the news rounds. So we're trying to get President Zelensky to yeah. talk about not what that honor means, but what the commitment of America giving Patriot missiles means. So we'll see if we get him. That may be Monday uh, of, next, of next week. What did the Patriot missiles mean to well, them? Well, I think this is an important story for a number of reasons. But, you know, America has been supporting Ukraine throughout this conflict. And we've had to ratchet it up a number of times. We sent uh, uh, missiles. We've sent, we've, sent, uh, we've sent artillery shells. We've sent economic support. This is basically an iron dome that would shoot down missiles. The Patriot missile batteries, folks may remember from the Gulf War, from the Iraq War when I was in Iraq back in 2003, 2004, these shoot down other missiles. And this is really important because uh, U Ukrainian civilians are getting killed by missiles by drones, by air shots, and this will help the Ukrainians clear the skies. Zelensky's going to say it over and over again, help us close the skies. And this is the best step for us to help them close the skies, keep a defense of their land, and hopefully start to turn the momentum and continue the momentum they have. But we've got to stop the bombs and missiles from falling on civilians, and this is one way to do it without putting American boots on the ground. What's your quick answer to boots on the ground? Uh, it's not enough, PJ. This is their fight. We've done plenty for them. We've done more for them than anybody else. Um, we've got to worry about our stuff at home. My grandfather spent three years in the South Pacific during World War II, and he would not agree. And I think anybody who understands the stakes in play right now, this is a generational fight. Uh, this is about freedom. This is about fighting a despot and a person who wants to annihilate and eradicate an entire people. Uh, and NATO's got to stand up for our friends. And this is, in my view, the most important fight of our time. We're not putting American boots on the ground, and we're sending support to a person who's in a country that's very deep in the fight. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, 
and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.